Hello. Well, I'm here to talk about uh, two other films again. Uh, did that before in a previous video where I talked about two movies that came out the same year. Um, these movies uh, have something similar in that uh, they star somebody, you know, in both. Uh, but they are quite different films. Um, first, it's Leon the Professional, stars uh, Jean Reno, Gary Oldman, and Natalie Portman. Um, in brief, this film, you know, it's about you know, Leon. He is a professional hitman, and uh, Gary Oldman is a, uh, you know, he's a DEA agent, but he's uh, <clears throat> also crooked. And uh, Natalie Portman's character, uh, Matilda, she uh, lives in the same apartment building as uh, Leon and the uh, uh, you know, uh, she becomes a uh, she gets to live with him because, well, your Oldman guy, his guys, um, go and uh, <laughs> they, uh, yeah, you know, her family is uh, killed, and um, it's not very pleasant, uh, especially when. Uh, her little brother died, and he didn't, you know, he was just there. That was the only unfortunate thing with him is he happened to be there and was there when all of us went down because, you know, uh, dad, uh, well, he's a, uh, he's been. Yeah, he's been dealing with the wrong people, and, well, he ends up getting his family killed, except for Matilda. So, Leon takes her in, and uh, he starts to sort of, like, you know, teach her uh, about uh, being a professional cleaner, and see uh, how they... How they bond, and it's uh, it's quite interesting. Um, you know, great performances all around, and um, you know, Gary Oldman, as I've said, is my favorite actor of all time. So, always love Gary Oldman, and you know anything he does, even if uh, he's in a film that isn't good. But this is not one of those. This is a great movie, and um, it is. Uh, really beloved by many in this, and right, rightfully so. Um, and the next uh, also stars Gary Oldman, Immortal Beloved. Um, both of these films came out in 1994, so you know, they're two, 25 years old. Um, uh, this film is, surrounds uh, the mysterious letter that uh, Beethoven uh, had uh, says like to to my immortal beloved and nobody knows who he was referring to because in the letter when read it, it just doesn't say their name it just says to my immor his immortal beloved and um, he never sent it to whoever this woman was in, in this film. It's like it's a biopic, so we see various points in his life, and we also uh, see uh, various women in his life. And in a way, it's sort of like doing so. It's like, could this be who he means, or maybe it's her? You know, it's 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 a very great film. Um, 
people frequently talk about this film, you know, and rightfully so. But I don't think many people talk about this movie as much. Well, I might get much clearer on it. Um, I don't know why. This is an incredible film. Uh, great performances, like, you know, the professional. Um, but I don't know what it is. I mean, you know, there's Amadeus, which is 30, uh, 35 years old. Uh, this year also, uh, it's a film I also love. Um, maybe I'll talk about that some other time. Um, if not this year, because usually it's on Fridays, but you know, I did make some like, videos uh, at Christmas. Uh, uh, so perhaps next week I might talk about Amadeus a bit. Um, but I don't know, it's like... T Ten years after Amadeus, we get a Beethoven film, uh, and a great one at that. But this doesn't get talked about as much, and I'm not, again, not sure why. Uh, Gary Oldman is in this, and people love Gary Oldman. Uh, Jean Cove is in this. Uh, Isabella Rosalini. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a great film. I, I, I don't know. It's one of those movies that, you know, words can't do justice to it, and yet it's a movie that hasn't been talked about much, and I don't know what I can say to persuade you other than there's a mystery in this, and it had a letter to his immortal beloved, and nobody knows who he wrote that for. You know, he never came forward. You know, after receiving it and after Beethoven died, to say he sent me this letter and all that. Uh, incredible performance by Oldman in this film. Um, same in uh, you know, The Professional. Um, I often see The Professional, or Leon The Professional, as it's called here in America, um, that he you know, that Gary Oldman deserved an Academy Award nomination for Steinsfeld and, you know, the professionals. I can understand and, you know, even get behind, but I would also say he deserved an Academy Award nomination for Immortal Beloved also. Um, I remember seeing how Roger Ebert thought the fact that Oldman didn't get nominated for this was a complete travesty that the Academy snubbed Oldman and just snubbed this film. Like, it's a great movie, great performances, particularly by the lead, and he deserved a nomination, at the very least, you know. Um, and I agree with that uh, sentiment. Uh, he deserved to be nominated, but he unfortunately was not. Um, but uh, people who are fans of Gary Oldman have seen this film, and they enjoy it, and they enjoy his performance. Uh, so, you know, maybe that's your uh, reward enough, you know. Uh, people enjoy the performance, and, you know, maybe that's just enough. Uh, yeah, I've seen it being ranked amongst some of his best uh, of his career, but I... I agree with that. I don't know where I would place it for my own sort of list of Gary Oldman performances, but it will be definitely one of them. Maybe top five. Uh, I think it's that good that it could be in the top five. Um, you know, as I said before, a few occasions that you no, know, I think the Oscars can have uh, ties here and there. You know. Uh, and for this instance, for like best actor, I think Gary Oldman should have tied uh, best actor with Morgan Freeman for The Shawshank Redemption. Um, both are incredible. Both deserved to be recognized that year, you know, to be nominated. I mean, F Freeman was, which is great, but Oldman wasn't, so, you know, 
it's unfortunate. Um, but, you know, that happens. Uh, uh, you can say that's a mistake on the Academy's part. Uh, perhaps it is. Or maybe you could also argue there's so many great movies that came out in 1994 it would be impossible to nominate everybody who is deserving of a nomination of any kind. Well, since there's like that time five slots in every category, you know. Now you have you can go up to ten films for best picture, um, which some have said that is a bit excessive because then you know when it, you have so many movies that get nominated, but you know best picture might be the only notable big film that's being recognized. You know, I got some technical nominations, but, you know, because it wasn't nominated in any other categories, aside from the other big categories like acting or directing or writing, you know, it doesn't have a chance at best picture. Um, so there is that. Uh, but, you know, these are two great films starring Gary Oldman. Um, I love them. Uh, many people love them who are film fans, fans of Gary Oldman. Both people that fit in both camps. Uh, I like to think I do fit in uh, both of those camps. Uh, uh, yeah. That's really all I have to say about uh, these two films. I may one day go more in depth, just as I might go in depth uh, with uh, being there and all that jazz. Um, you know, those are two great films, and these are two great films. I love these movies. Uh, I love watching them in a way because they started Gary Oldman. You can you could probably. Uh, Maybe have a little double feature of sorts. Uh, Gary Oldman double feature. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's all I really have to say. Um, hope you all have a great day. Have a great weekend or a great week. Happy New Year. Hope you all also had a great Christmas and Hanukkah. Uh, if you celebrate Hanukkah or Christmas. Hope your holiday season has been great. Um, and uh, I'll see you all next time in the new year. So take care. And I hope your year, this year, was great. And I hope your next year uh, will be just as great as this year, if not better. Uh, so take care. See you all next time. Bye.